What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubist Corner. So every <laughs> week, me and this little beautiful thing over here are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully enhance your relationship, take it to a whole new level, or reignite maybe those flames that have been diminished over time. And this encompasses a lot of different details in your life too in being in a relationship. Whether you're just starting off into your first couple of weeks, months, you know, with your new relationship, this could affect you. Or obviously when you get into a longer relationship with somebody and maybe the family comes about, this is what we're really gonna talk about today. Mm -hmm. So it's all about balancing things, okay? And you know, in our, your life, you're gonna balance a couple different things. Right off the bat, you're gonna balance your own personal life and work life. You shouldn't be having a job and you're gonna definitely have to balance things outside of there. But once you get in a relationship, then you have the relationship part you have the job part, right? And you have the personal part for your own self-being. And then you're going to have the kid part. Yeah. So you're going to... You think as they're getting older, it'd be easier, right? No. It's <laughs> definitely more attention. They always say, you know, honestly, when they're little, they get attention. But when they're, you know... Sleeping. Growing, getting older, they're going to be able to get more attention because they're going to be able to talk, interact, have more energy, and they're going to be about. And with this is growth. You know, with kids, especially in our situation, they're going to want to be into activities, hopefully. And these activities can range from anything from sports to cheerleading to step to band, uh, whatever it is, right? I just I mentioned that because she was in a step when she was in high I school. I did step, right? yes, So, you know, it could be a lot of different activities, and you want your kids to be in these different activities. Even if, you know, you've been out of the marriage or you didn't get married, and listen, you guys had a kid together, you still got a parent. And with this parenting, you know, you want to still give your kids the best life, right? Uh, and you want to push them into activities because obviously activities are going to be great for the kid, um, great for social skills, right? Um, if they're in sports, it's great competitiveness. It shows them, you know, if they win and they really, really work really hard, they can do really, really great things. Uh, these are really, really important. But with all this and great pushing them in and them doing excellent and excelling these different things, comes time. Mm -hmm. And with time especially us in our example we don't have any um, time you know it's it's been you know it's 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 been kind of a challenge or a lot more time dedicated to being more involved in peer sports and you know obviously he's playing basketball baseball and all these different things well right now it's baseball and baseball we're doing great so we're on a winning streak coaching and at that point it's been the last three weeks like wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday with games. Double headers, three headers, whatever you call it, every day, all day. Uh, you know, ah. so we've been winning. So at that <laughs> point, we're going down to States this week, which another Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday event for 4th of July weekend. Usually we're chilling on the beach, family time, kind of hanging out and, you know, just enjoying the sun. Oh, you know, we'll be enjoying the sun. We'll be enjoying the sun. <laughs> yep. But we will hopefully be hopefully <laughs> enjoying some competitiveness and hopefully winning this tournament out there. But with this comes the balance of time. And, you know, for me and Sharice, listen, we don't have time as it is and we're the owners so luckily you know if we need to we could probably you know schedule the time to go do it which we have but for the regular average day person that's a little bit tougher right because you have a job you have different hours you have to work you know since the whole thing that's went on i mean there are people that work from home we can make their own schedules now a little bit more lenient as far as that goes but it is it's tough all the way around you still got to work and still got to make i mean i was buck. asking the question of like you know this is our first go around for these different you know leagues and all stars this all star that this other stuff that's going on in world series and yada yada but it's like you know from wednesday to sunday and it's two day like it's two games or three games in a whole day it takes up i mean from 11 back to back to back to back all the way to six o'clock at night and i'm just like what, what i'm sitting i'm like where are these parents do they just get time off mm -hmm. i know if my employees not for nothing if you worked at titan getting yeah. time off is incredibly difficult yeah. but if you asked me to take all that time off i i would probably deny half of it yeah 
I mean, unless you planned on not taking any more time for the rest of the year. Yeah. So I couldn't even imagine if you asked to do it like three weeks in a row, I'd be like, no. Yeah. So I'm wondering how are these parents doing it because some of them, both of them show up. I guess some of them do show up after work and they try to balance it a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's hard too because, you know, they're at that age where like they're looking for you like yeah. in the bleachers or for John, he's the coach. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, they're looking to see like, hey, are you there? Do I want to make sure because I know when I was growing up, my parents didn't make it to everything. They made it to some things, yeah. but they didn't make it to everything. And, you know, you were out in the bleachers waving to anybody because there was no one to wave to. You know, so, you know, they're lucky if they if they get that if they get that privilege, yeah, you know, absolutely. and it's tough, though. It's tough to balance it all, you know, work being especially being an entrepreneur. I mean, whether you can make your own schedule or not, sometimes it's totally irrelevant <laughs> whether you can make your schedule or not. Your, this schedule it's for me. Unfortunately, it's making me like I'm having to go around this schedule and do things I'm not normally typically used to doing. So it's been a little bit of an acclimation for me, you know the baseball thing and you know they, they had this baseball mom thing I, I'm sure that you know some of you guys might be out there I'm sure plenty of sports have it or if you know the guys coaching the wife takes over and they bring cookies and maybe they wash clothes at these things or you know I don't know there's a couple questions I've been asked where I'm like what <laughs> you, you you I'm sorry cookies I'm like oh I mean I can Instacart them here if that makes it easy for you guys you know but it's been it's definitely been different for me because I you know I, I I'm a workaholic I work a lot you know that takes away a little bit from the home you know portion of it which you know John's been extra extra helpful throughout the years and very understanding um but you know it's just it's kind of crazy because I'm like I feel a little lost sometimes like uh yeah, sure. I'll jump right on that. <laughs> it's been crazy. It is, it is, it a is crazy. crazy. It is crazy. And listen, it's hard to do. Um, you know, but the end result, think about this. It is. The end result's much bigger. The end result right? is a lot bigger. That's what keeps me going. It will literally impact your child's life for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. They'll always look back on it, and they might not be as grateful now. Rascal. But later on in life, they will be grateful for that. And they'll have those memories, and so will you. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's a big part of it. I think that that's that's a huge part of things, and it's the sacrifices that you make now, right? And this is one sacrifice. Now, at that point, you still got to worry about personal, your relationship too with your health, wife, love, your health, one, right? And and your health. And you know, health is not just being healthy and going to the doctor, right? Like your mental health. Like I'll give you an example. I mean, John, right? Yeah. His mental health, and he doesn't ask for much, is to get a workout in, right? Mm -hmm. And over these past few weeks, he hasn't been able to work out. I'm surprised he hasn't blown up into, you know, ah, like Incredible Hulk. I'm sure it's inside. It's inside, you see. It's, it's in inside. There. It's in there. It's inside of here. Oh, this is so nice. So I'm saying, though, you know, it's in, it, health comes down to many things. Mental health, emotional health, you know, just sexual health. Yeah. Sexual health. All of mm -hmm. that goes in hand in hand. So it's a lot of balancing, guys. But, I mean, definitely looking at the bigger picture, I mean, it's obviously... I mean, I'll tell you whenever we won districts and that was that was cool because John came in and I'm sure he won't he's not going to tell you the story, but I will. So he came in as the underdog. Right. And he was a brand new coach. Basically, we'll call it that. And, you know, new kid on the block. Little did everybody know is John's a really good baseball player and he played ball in college. Yeah. So um, they don't need to know that, though. That just gave him one head one, one step ahead in the back end. So. He goes and he coaches the whole season. We literally went undefeated except for one game. So we basically, what was it, 14-1? 14-1. Should have had that one, too. I mean, it would have been. We uh, beat that team I mean, once. That's a, the guy coming in. Everybody's like, who is this guy? <laughs> right? And not to mention, we bought a banner, right? The Titan Medical banner with our faces on it, which is hilarious. I mean, this is funny because we live a funny life. And I, I love to share the funny things with you because it's hilarious, right? So we are on this banner that's inside the baseball field. So I know they all know who we are. And they see him, and then the kids are connecting it with the billboard. And they're like, oh, look who this is. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. So now he's like, you know, he comes in. He's like, who's this guy? Wins all these games. We go to districts. Knock it out of the park. It wasn't easy. Knock it out of the park. And it was so cool because, like, you know, it's, like, it's this type of, like, this type of feeling that you don't, like, you it, it's just it's a rewarding feeling but to get like all the kids and just like it's almost to make you want to cry like oh my god i can't believe we did it right 
funny part is, you know, we were so excited that day, right? This is real funny. We were so excited that day. <laughs> and it's not his fault, but it was funny, not really. But we, I went to him and I jumped up because I was like, you know, super excited. I like jumped up and gave him a really big hug and he squeezed me real tight. You know, the kids were throwing water all over the place and stuff, all excited. Yeah, 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 we won. Right? And I just so happened to have dropped my phone. Now, this is movie stuff, right? I dropped my phone on the ground and, you know, John is getting crazy. He's like jumping around like, yeah, 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 we won, yeah. You know, he's getting hard, right? And I am literally like, <gasps> I went like that, looked at the ground and then, boom, see was crashing up, just smashed it in little tiny pieces. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. And I think probably like, Five other parents and kids saw this go down and they're like, uh, your phone is not okay. And I'm like, no. And I literally tried to like reach for it one more time just so it wasn't totally smashed. <laughs> because if he came down that phone one more time, it would not have been working. A hundred percent. But it was just the excitement. I'm like, whatever. I'll figure it out. There's another phone in my purse. Of course, I have two phones. So I'm like, you know, it's, it's irrelevant. I don't care. This is just so cool to just see it all happen, right? Definitely worth it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Make your moments with your kids too as well cool and moments. push them to play, right? Be active in life. That's what it's all about. So guys, another tip and trick just from us to you, balance your time wisely. Work, play, your relationship, and your family. Guys, catch us every Sunday, 11 a.m. You'll see us here on ABC. Guys, DVR us if you're not there live. And make sure you guys go to YouTube and check out all our great content. Just type in Titan Medical Center and you'll see us more great content about our therapies that can help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better every single day of your life. See you guys next Sunday. See you then.